Hello, horror fan man here again. It's the uh, second part of my update here. <clears throat> All of these, apart from this top one here, ones that I haven't actually watched yet, but I picked up lately. First up, most people hate it, but I actually love it. Alien v Predator 2 Requiem. Much better than the first one. I thought the first one was just fucking terrible. Started off good and just got shittier and shittier. This one, it's more brutal, more action, more going on. I like it. Really like it. It's got a commentary as well, but I might have to actually give that a go. So that's the Alien B Predator 2 Requiem. Cheap from Asda. <clears throat> Up next, looks quite good. It's from the producer of Insidious and Sinister. It's um, Afflicted. And that's a found footage one. The trailer looks really good. The guy sort of gets more and more fucked up when they're on like a world tour sort of thing. I think he ends up being a vampire or something. It looks really good. But no Blu-ray over here. Up next, this is what I'm dying to see. It's Lucky McGee's film. All Cheerleaders Die. It's a great cover there. Can't wait to see this one. That doesn't look like it's got any extras on it. It's a pity. I thought there'd be a, at least be a commentary or something on it. But yeah, this looks really good. So it's basically Cheerleaders Die. They come back to life and wreak havoc. Great looking film. <clears throat> Another one. Knew nothing about it till I seen it the other day. It's called Dark Touch. Know nothing about this one either. It's about a young girl. Yeah. Basically, a family get all murdered. And then it comes back later on when she's a bit older and some shit happens. Give that one a go. And this one, Dark Tourist. It's got Michael Kulditz in it. Really like him from Southland. One of the best shows on TV. Gutted they stop making that. He's in The Walking Dead now. Yeah, about a guy who just goes into, goes around tracking places where serial killers went yeah looks really good from the advert anyway number one not on blu-ray <clears throat> then from 101 films i've seen it release about two films a week it's haunting of crestview high no nothing about this nice cover <clears throat> it's about six high school kids spoiled little bastards in a house and then they all start getting killed off one by one so i'll enjoy seeing them get murdered Yep, yeah, looks quite good. Know nothing about it. And this is by Slash's new company. Called Nothing Left to Fear. I'm sure this is on Blu-ray over here, but it was only three quid in Asda, so I thought, eh, I'll get it. Yeah, so know nothing about this one either, but it looks quite good from the advert. I think it's another possession -y sort of one. Nice cover. Then, wait for this to come down. Down to three quid. The Amateurville Asylum. From what I hear, it's got nothing to do with the other Amateurville films. It's just basically saying it's an, actually a hosp mental hospital in Amateurville in, on Long Island. So, yeah, give it a go. Got strong violence and gore. That's what I like to see. Another one here, The Haunting of Katie Malone. Don't know anything about this one either. Nice cover. Another one that just sort of come out from nowhere. Three college friends started by a ghost on on an online auction. They think it's a joke, but then they get the box and open it. It lets all the shit out, as you can see in the picture there. Yeah, should be fun. Strong, strong language and gory images. Another one there from 88 films. So this is just on DVD, The Pigman Murders. Actually, I think this is an Irish one. Yeah. They go away and they basically they film everything as they're going along. And it's basically they all die and this is their found footage. Yeah, it's got a Curse of the Banshee short film on it as well. So give that a go as well. Love 88 films. The Blu-rays are doing a brilliant. And the last one I've got is this one here. Nice cover. It's called Werewolf Rising. Don't know anything about this. But it's another one that just came out for Halloween. Basically, yeah, blood thirsty werewolf is tearing through the township, ripping and rav ravaging all who cross its path, revealing a sinister underlife that few knew existed. Yeah, so give this one a go. Yep, so it's not really that many films, but yeah, that's all I've got at the minute. So anybody wants to leave any comments? If anyone's seen any of these films, let me know. No doubt a lot of people are slagging off Alien v Predator too, but hey, I love it. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, and bye.